field training actor complaint. I'd like to file a former complaint regarding the unauthorized use of my voice in a state of quality that I did not agree on. The fact that they were planning to use material from what I thought was a rehearsal was not communicated to me at all. Had it been, I would have disallowed the use of those recordings. I want use of the Ranger Field Training Course recorded messages to halt immediately. I will not stand for this humiliation among my peers. I will go to HR with this if necessary. Signed, Randall Pulaski. Must be completed in this specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all, or? I always did love obstacle courses. No wonder they didn't want their voice to be used. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Uh huh. Forty five seconds remaining. Was so close, wasn't I? Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Uh... Go. seconds remaining. usually part of the course. That looks so cool. It's protecting itself. I need to hit it harder to break that shield. shield to complete the astral plane challenge. Oh, that 
That's a cool shield. I was kind of expecting just like a generic kind of bubble thing, but this is way cooler. So it's only in front of me. Oh. You can zoom around while doing it. Even jump. Can't sprint though. And also it says hold Q. You don't have to hold Q. Just press it. Just press it once and then it stays up. Whoa, what is that? Some sort of sniper? That's totally new. For this encounter, I don't really know what the point of the shield was. It didn't seem to help, honestly. Like, it works, but just, uh, at least for this encounter, it didn't really help at all. It means you don't really take damage for a bit, but also you can't do damage. So it can, I, I can only think of two uses it would have. One is to get into a better position. If you're in a bad position, you can use it to move somewhere better. And the other is maybe there's some enemies that have attacks where they're kind of invulnerable or, or hard to deal with or something. So it might be good to put that up for those and then shoot during the other times. But neither of those were true for that case, that fight. Plastic tree procedures. Holiday memories tree. Item must be contained within a soundproof cell. A Holiday Memories brand white plastic tree with green plastic stand. The item repeats words and phrases spoken within a range of something feet, always in a tone below something hurts. This verbal mimicry has profoundly distressing effects on the individual it's copying. The item was taken from the something Canadian research station established on Ross Island in Antarctica, where it was used to celebrate the holiday season. In 1979, solar radiation damaged the radio, severing the base's only means of communication with the world. After the frozen passages opened, a military expedition visited the base to re-establish contact. They found the base's occupants in various states of madness, rambling about voices in the tree. Military personnel discovered they also heard the tree speaking. After locking the item in a supply crate, 
They brought it back to the mainland, at which point the Bureau intervened. Well, that's no good. Damage against enemy armor, 30%. I already have the 60% one, right? So, no thanks. Home safe. No unique procedures required. The object is a guardhouse brand home safe. Weight measurements vary. <laughs> its weight varies? When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to telekinetically gather items and debris from their surroundings. Discovered in the basement of a home in something Ohio, the object gained rapid interest in certain online forums dedicated to opening abandoned safes. After months of failure, the owner attempted to open it with explosives. The object survived with no physical damage. Bureau agents were dispatched, now confident of its paranatural nature. Blood... Uh, <laughs> blood occasionally emerges from the seam around the object's door. Tests confirm the blood is not human. X-rays taken of the object indicate that something is trapped inside, though the images are always blurred, which indicates the contents of the object are moving. All attempts to open the object have been unsuccessful. That is so fucking creepy. Is there a darling presentation on this thing? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Nope. I think now, just go find Marshall, right? Research sector. A whole new place. I like on the right side of the map how everything's like scratched out unknown except one long hallway is apparently known. That's weird. Love that. Every time. Beautiful. Welcome to, the Welcome to the research sector of the Federal Bureau of Control. I'm Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. <laughs> Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So... I love those trees. Beautiful. There's a luck and probability section? Plant complaint. Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants in research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, that janitor does have a nice voice, and the plants sure seem to like it. 
maybe he could just switch it up a bit. I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. And where did these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted. And people like them, uh, people like them a bit too much, if you ask me. Are we being invaded by house plants? Worth looking into. Shoebox notes. I think I've stumbled onto something here. Only notes, early hypothesis now, further tests needed. Shoebox retrieved from ordinary. Potential altered item. Ooh. Beautiful. Synchronicity. A glimpse into the paranatural. Synchronicity and the unseen connections. Synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It's how we rationalize events connected by no identifiable causality, yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways we do not yet understand, and sometimes we stumble across these invisible, unseen chords and wonder at the result. The visionary Carl Jung laid the road. Now we must walk it. My fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably reproduce something behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We're striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. Okay. Bit too much of an ego there, I think. Wait, are these the ones that shoot rockets? Because I can take rockets now. Like, out of midair. Okay, you're too close for comfort. Hello, shoot at me. Please? Okay, that's too close if you're gonna shoot a rocket. Shoot a rocket! Stop! <laughs> oh, that is fun.
Okay. Well, you can just stay down there then. Jesus. Didn't know they did that. Emergency call summary. A possible altered world event in which an unnamed individual experienced transcorporality. Is that how I pronounce it? Transcorporality? I think so. Via a phone line. Event is notably similar to... Da, da, da. Okay, there's almost no information here. Almost everything's redacted. I guess timed things are kind of common. Interesting. Go to the communications department. Wait, have we been to the communications department? I... Uh, no? I don't think so. Maintenance and executive. I guess I'll go. Wait. Where's the communications department? Oh, it's an executive. Executive slash communications department. Okay. Let's head on over there in a second, but I've got some ability points. So we can do grenades and rockets back at the enemy. I can also just unlock more damage. Yeah, let's do more damage. Oh, additional personal mod slot. Nice. I could do even more damage. Okay, sure. A lot of new questions. Are they communicating? Coordinating? What about the Still no new outfits. Plant attracted them. So, communications department. There we go. Found it.
Well, and come back here if I need more health. Like now, for example. A lot of enemies. That was really fun. Wait, I thought the quest was complete. It doesn't look complete. get for completing it? I don't actually know. A lot of materials. His sniper. Oh right, we haven't read the report on his sniper. Bureau snipers specialize in eliminating threats from a distance using the telltale searchlights affixed to their rifles to search for targets. His snipers are no less lethal. The corruption has not changed their tactics. They clearly prefer to maintain a good distance from their target, waiting in elevated positions for a clear shot. Care should be taken in open spaces. Check the balconies. I should note that the rifles are equipped with a bayonet for close quarters combat, and the Hiss snipers are well aware of how to use it. Ammo cost per shot minus 7%. I mean, that'd be good. Is it better than damage against armor plus 60 or 15% more damage? No. What about this one? Projectiles fired plus 3. Yeah, just more... Wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong spot. The top one. The top one over here is what we already have. The bottom one is what I'm looking at right now. Uh, I think projectiles fired plus three is good. Oh, right, we have a second personal mod slot. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's just look at the level two ones. Let's just deconstruct the other ones. Shield energy cost. Nah, I don't care about that. Health plus 23%. That's good. Watch energy cost minus 10%. That's pretty good. Vade energy cost minus 11%. Decent. Energy plus 7%. Let's go with plus 23% health. And this is energy recovery speed plus 21%. That's really good. Back to the research sector. Also on that tip, it says use of A to avoid fall damage, so it is 100% an intended feature. Hope the enemies don't respawn. Nah, we're good. Okay. I don't think there's any point in looking at the map yet. <laughs> it's really complex and there's a lot of places to go. Stuff upstairs, stuff downstairs. Start upstairs? Uh, we're supposed to go to parapsychology, which is downstairs. So yeah, 
Let's go upstairs. The hell is that? That weird open bit. I could probably get in there. That too? What is it? I would need a little bit more height. Oh! Uh, almost grabbed it. You want to shoot another rocket at me? Messed that one up, didn't you? <laughs> Dimensional research. What is that? Giant chalkboard? Grab that. No, oh, I can't. Hmm. But <laughs> it's gonna be a little tricky. Yeah. Oh, I'm just destroying it. You don't have precise manipulation of the objects. That's not going to happen. Hmm. That could work. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> so where are we now? Just in a different place. You can kind of see the corridor on the map, I think. And it shows it being right here. So I guess that's not the corridor, then. Such weird little tunnels. I feel proud that I managed to get in here. I'm sure there's easier ways, but my way's cooler. Oops. Rubber duck supplement. It's an altered item. Discovered in the home of Agent something after his young daughter complained of being followed by her rubber duck. According to Agent, the matter was ignored, believing to be the result of a child's imagination, until he began hearing the quacking at night. After discovering the item hiding in his daughter's closet, he brought it to the bureau for study. Update. It was discovered that Agent was bringing known paranatural materials into his home, illegally taking them outside the oldest house. How this may have affected the creation of an altered item is being investigated. The agent has been terminated. On the shitter, apparently. can I use this control point? Am I like super not meant to be here? New mission. Investigate the x-ray light box object of power. Research hypnosis lab.
Oh my god, two of them. Yes, shoot grenades at me. That does make them a lot easier to deal with. Jesse learns of another object of power. Yep. Oh. We finished one of the board countermeasures. What's new here? Shit. I accidentally moused over the new thing. I don't know what it was. Oh well. New mods are not something I can use with these weapons. <laughs> oh, that's always so creepy. So I got the mission from here, but there's no normal way down. Right? That way's locked. Other than that... The elevators are out. Those are just bathrooms over there. Yeah, I guess... Guess I just head back through one of these holes. Darling's office is open. I've been fielding questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the Hedron resonance anyway? I... Fuck. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as, uh, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is, um, classified. One day that classified, not water, might pour in and... You'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be, uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. Darling really was a mess near the end, huh? I've been fielding questions recently regarding... Oh! Advice. We can just play with it. Do you always need to wear them? And that's super cool. Why'd you take me here? It was resonance theory. Utilization of paranatural elements. Resonance. Resonance. It's there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us. Through us. From us. But what if the vibration is conscious? What could a force like that do? The something emits a force that is far beyond the forces we've previously dealt with. It has shown me so much that I have to wonder. Is resonance the key element in all altered phenomenon? 
AWEs, altered items, objects of power, do they share a common that we've yet to discover? We can harmonize control points. What else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if resonance has been the answer this whole time? Oh my god, you can move it and it projects wherever you put it. And you can break it and then it projects nowhere. <laughs> Happy face. Unhappy face. Oh, there's so much cool stuff in this lab. Once again, why did you bring me here? Astral plane counter essay. Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the something, an entity or group of entities that we have little information on or little that I'm allowed to access. In his written reports, he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power, the something, the astral plane and the oldest house itself. His work supposes these links are innate. A fact ingrained into the very... of objects such as the hotline or the service weapon. But what if these particular objects were never linked to the... but had that connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct contact with a... Isn't it strange that using the service weapon or the hotline will result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of the role? Why do we assume this involvement by the is a natural fact and not something more... Budget request. Dear Dr. Darling, I suspect my colleague Dr. Harrington has already contacted you asking you for an increase in her department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel. All fuss, but no results. Parakinesiology has always been the stronger department. More breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your esteem can plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. Just think what those additional resources could do for an already formidable research team. Anyway, I know you're a fan of single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown on your desk. Yours in admiration, Dr. Abraham Lewis. Kissing some serious ass. Astral Plane. The Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential receptacle, determined by Jungian archetypes and the collective subconscious, would be inhabited by paranatural energies when an AWE occurred in its vicinity, creating an altered item. Over time, a link was created by the and the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time. Objects of power were placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane, and the objects were left behind as its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house, but the connection was severed, and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully, the truth will emerge. Oh my god, what? I touched this thing up here and then everything on the wall fell down. So cool, everything's, like, almost everything is simulated with physics. <laughs> 